We're at Stradbally County Leash at Electric Picnic 2013. This is the first year Leave No Trace have come on board with Electric Picnic and we are coordinating the first ever Leave No Trace campsite. The campsite is running for three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. On the Friday, as people arrive, we check them in and give them a warm welcome. Well, I've been on the reception desk meeting and greeting uh, the people who have pre-booked into our campsite and it's been very friendly, very upbeat, great, great atmosphere, very carnival atmosphere here. Leave No Trace Ireland is all about promoting, I suppose, responsible outdoor recreation and it's about protecting our environment and it's about really promoting a message to everyone that enjoys the outdoors to really think about the environment and think about our impact on it and think about ways in which we can minimise that impact. The Leave No Trace campsite is all about making festival camping more of a nature-based experience. So you can see around us here there's you know, lots of nice grass and no rubbish. So you know, it makes it feel like you're in the outdoors and not in the middle of a rubbish tip. On top of that then, it's also a communal experience. As you can see behind us, there's this seating area and you, know, you have these shared experiences with people meeting each other, people that have common interests. And it's also about taking everything home with you. Not only your rubbish, your tent and your equipment, but also maybe taking the ethos of leaving the trace home with you and using it in your everyday life. Well, I suppose firstly it's clean and around here it's a bit like an oasis at the moment. What really makes a difference though are the people, I think, everyone is here and wants, you know, wants to clean up after themselves. Not in a, no one's going around and enforcing it or anything like that. It's a bit like an oasis in the chaos and the madness. The best way to, to pack for leaving no trace is to consider what, what you bring with you. So especially with items such as food that you want to maybe take away unnecessary packaging before you, you bring the food with you. So for example here, oh, there's no need to bring this cardboard box. So I leave that at home and pack just what's inside of it. Other things, uh, like this came in a plastic jar, so I repack it into a reusable plastic container, which I'll use for 10 years, you know, it, it's very reusable. And then other things I can, I can pack away in a Ziploc bag. And again, a Ziploc bag can be reused m many, many times. Just wash it like your ordinary dishes. Okay, moving on to um, toiletries and things like that. Um, you could consider using biodegradable organic wipes, wet wipes. Uh, or instead of that, what you could use is a reusable cloth. So you're reducing your rubbish, soap and a, and a cloth, and just have a like a, a, a shower, uh, a towel shower. Um, there's a couple of other things that are important. Obviously, um, hand wash. This is organic and natural hand sanitizer, really good. And the other things like suntan lotion, you can get organic versions of those. Finally, on the subject of clothing and equipment, uh, good idea to bring some nice warm clothing and warm hats as we found out you know last night it was baltic here uh, a lot of people going around cold so it's best to become prepared uh, it's important also rain gear very good and i find uh, surprisingly very old-fashioned but an umbrella is great at festivals another thing to consider is maybe packing some of your important stuff in waterproof bags because on the walk here from the car park if it's raining you don't want to get stuff like your sleeping bag soaking wet that's going to ruin the rest of your festival so apart from that, I guess the main issue with packing is to pack what you bring with you, pack it out afterwards. Bring everything home with you. So to aquasol, to brusker agus to wearing, so to na can agus on plastic, it's fragile in ishina aquasol, agus on chinta anakuj wearing agin mars brawl in thirties for the machine. So talking with Gahrod Hague na na brusky mora or balakama agus chinta with Janrod Kena nis chini new agus mora agus yes is through the intake. One of the really great things about the Leave No Trace campsite is that when you register on arrival you get a green bag and a brown bag and the green bag is for all your recyclable waste and the brown bag is for all your food waste and organic waste so you can put all your waste into these bags in your tent keep your tent nice and tidy and the area around your camp nice and tidy and then when you're leaving you just pop the bags which are biodegradable into the skips provided by Leave No Trace so you really can leave no trace. The minute I came in here I felt relaxed incredible I've been at a few other eco sites where they've been looking at this at this kind of way of working and it's just so different like I walked fr right through the campsite and there's quite a lot of rubbish in different areas and straight away you kind of feel oh you know it gives you this kind of feeling a bit of stress or, or whatever but coming in here I have to say it's very relaxing you look around and you see the grass 
you actually see people sitting down enjoying themselves and putting their rubbish away. It's just a completely different type of experience being in a place like this. Great idea, delighted with Leave No Trace to actually get something like this going in this area. Leave No Trace is essential, I think, in the environment that we live in because people are now doing more, far more outdoor activities. They're going hill walking, they're exploring their local areas, heritage sites. Um, I think this means the start of a very good future for sustainability for festivals and in terms of the customers of festivals taking responsibility for how they keep their actions during that festival, be it the campsite, be it the main site, and to prove that customers can be responsible given the resource. To find out more about the Leave No Trace campsite, you can go to Leave No Trace's website, which is www.leavenotraceireland.org. You can also find it on Facebook, Leave No Trace Ireland, and we're also on Twitter.